Hello and welcome to our NTC slash GTLE numeracy pass question series. In this discussion, we shall be looking at a theory pass question on the application of sequences. This is the first of its kind, thus our first part. Before we progress, make sure you click on the subscribe button, like and share. And please leave a comment in the comment section. We would like to know how you see our videos to be. Okay, your comment is very much important to us so that we can improve upon our future productions. Now let's move to the question. Now this was the question or the extract or a snapshot from the question that came. Okay, or from the set of questions that were brought that year. Let's look at it critically. We are going to be answering the question 2A. Abina wanted to buy a bag and had saved for eight consecutive weeks. She saved two Ghana CDs in the first week, four Ghana CDs in the second week, six Ghana CDs in the third week, eight Ghana CDs in the fourth week, and so on until the eighth week. How much did the bag cost if her entire savings at the end of the eight weeks was spent on buying the bag? Solution. Now, before we say anything, you get to realize that on the first week, she saved two Ghana cities. Second week, four Ghana cities. Third week, six Ghana cities. Is there a way we can generate a rule for her contribution in each week? Observe carefully. It looks like the sequence appears in a definite manner. So we have two, four, six. Eight. Of course, someone might say it is multiples of two, or better still, even numbers. But the rule can also be that the week number, or the amount she contributes each week, is simply equal to the week number times two Ghana cities. So week one, we can say she contributed one times two Ghana cities. Week two, she contributed two times two Ghana cities, which will give us four cities. Week three. She contributed 3 times 2 Ghana cities, and that, and that will also give us, what, 6 Ghana cities. Week 4, 4 times 2 Ghana cities, and that will also give us 8 Ghana cities, as you can see. Alright? So we can simply derive a rule that the amount contributed each week is simply equal to the week number times 2 Ghana cities. Alright? We can therefore complete a table for each particular contribution until the 8th week. So you can see that week 1, 2 Ghana cities. Week 2, 2 Ghana cities times 2, that will give us 4 Ghana cities. Week 3, 3 times 2 Ghana cities, that will also give us 6 Ghana cities. Then week 4, 4 times 2 Ghana cities, that will give us 8 Ghana cities. Week 5, 5 times 2 Ghana cities, that will also give us 10 Ghana cities. Week 6, 6 times 2 Ghana cities, that will also give us 12 Ghana cities. Week 7, 7 times 2 Ghana cities, that will also give us 14 Ghana cities. And of course, week 8. 8 times 2 Ghana cities, and that also gives us 16 Ghana cities, as you can see on the screen for week 8. Now, what will be the total? We just have to sum all the contributions for each week. Okay? And how is that going to be like? So, the total is simply going to be equal to 2 cities plus 4 cities plus 6 cities plus 8 cities plus 10 cities plus 12 cities plus 14 cities plus 16 cities. And that simply sums up to 72 Ghana cities. So we can say that she contributed 72 Ghana cities and thus the cost of the bag was 72 Ghana cities or better so she spent 72 Ghana cities on buying the bag. But this is not the only approach. We can also use the formula for sum of an arithmetic progression. Okay, so the sum of an arithmetic progression or an arithmetic sequence. Let's proceed to that. Alright, we have our question up there again. And now, okay. So here, the sequence, we just quickly write. That's 2 CDs, 4 CDs, 6 CDs, 8 CDs, and so on and so forth. What is the sum of an arithmetic sequence? It's simply, S subscript N is simply equal to N over 2, brackets open 2A plus, brackets open N minus 1, bracket close, times D, bracket close. Where SN is the sum of the AP sequence, N is the term number, A is the first term, D is the constant difference between two consecutive terms. Alright? 
Now, what is A? The first contribution, that is two Ghana cities. N is simply the, the number of weeks she contributed. So that means that our term number is simply eight. Or no, our total number of terms involved is simply eight. Now the common difference is simply going to give us four minus two, that will give us two. You can also pick six minus four, eight minus six rather, and so on and so forth. All right, and that will give us the answer two. Okay, so the difference is constant for all the sequence. Now, in substituting the values in, you get to realize that this portion here, 8 over 2 simplifies to 4, 2 times 2 simplifies to 4, then 8 minus 1 simplifies to 7, and of course times the 2, we just bring it back. Alright? Simplifying further, alright? We still have our 4, brackets will be in the 4, also brought here, plus 7 times 2 is 14. Now, what do we get? That what is in the bracket simply sums up to 18. And now 4 times 18 will now give us the final answer, which is going to be 72. So we can therefore conclude that she bought a bag for 72 Ghana CDs. Let's now look at how to actually do this with the help of your calculator. Okay. So this is our formula. So what do we do? We first of all press the fraction key, as you can see on the screen. Then, what is our N? Our number of terms or number of contributions involved is actually 8. So, we key in the 8, scroll down, and type in our 2. Then you scroll forward to place the cursor in front of the number. Then you open your bracket. Now again, what do you do? You click or type 2. As you can see here, what is our A? Our A is the first contribution, which is actually 2. So I'll open bracket again and type in 2, as you can see on the screen. Then I'll come and press plus, All right? As you can see here, plus. Then we'll open another bracket. How many contributions were they? 8. I'll type 8 again, minus, minus 1. Then I close, okay? Now, what is the term, the constant difference? The constant difference is 2. So, I'll quickly just type in, open another bracket and type in 2 and then close it. Please, if you only type the 2 there like that, there will be an error. Then after that, I close another bracket and I press equal to. Now, you see that the answer is going to be 72, as you can see on the screen. This is how you can use your calculator to also aid you to solve this particular problem. I hope it is quite clear. Please, it is not compulsory to use one particular method. You, are, you, you have the choice or you have the option of choosing from any of the two methods. But the most prudent one you can ever use is the second approach, which involves the sum of an arithmetic sequence. Okay. I hope this video was quite comprehensive. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click on the subscribe button, you like, and share this video. Thank you for your time, and may the good Lord bless you. Goodbye.